Hi guys, so in this video we will import a character inside the scene that we have exported earlier and in here I have the character that we have exported earlier and I have also two other characters in here that I have exported as well so let's import all of these three place them right over here and now we can simply drag and drop them inside the scene and I have the character in here, I'm going to reduce it in size so that it fits properly and uh, as you can see you have the character right over there and we can see the animation here it is going to move now and then it will sit on the sofa right there so this is how you import characters now in here I have already the sofa in place now what I can do is, I can drop in the sofa, so I can move this drop and bounce animation so that it drops exactly when he is going to sit so for instance I want to drop it around here so let's move it right over here and drop it right in here and like this, we have this nice animation where he is first walking then he looks down then he sits on the sofa very nice another option that you can do is that you can move the character with the walking so let's see how we can do that we're going to pick the character in here see where he is walking and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an end keyframe on his stops which is in here go to position, click the keyframe from here and then I'm going to start it to move the character to this side so I'm going to find where he starts walking right in here and I'm simply going to move it to this side this way if we play it we have the sofa that's dropping the character right over here then he starts walking then he ends in here, looks down, and sits down. So very nice in there, as you can see, you can animate your characters and scenes like this. Finally, we can try and add a different animation. Let's add this one, cycling fast. This is just of someone cycling. So let's scale this down. scale it about to 60% and let's find where he is sitting down he's sitting down around here and like we did before we're simply going to go to the position by clicking P on our keyboard toggle the stopwatch and move it back in here and then I'm going to move all the way to here and move it across simply you can simply move it like this as well and let's see how that looks so he's stepping his feet then moves sits down and this guy passes in front of him and like this we can continue building up our scenes one last thing we can add also this guy in here since we have exported it and we have him in here, press S4 scale, I'm going to put him right over here and what if I would like him to look the opposite side, what I can do, since all animations that we have are looking this side what I can, can do to make him look the opposite side is that you should export your animations normally then simply go to here and from scale click this button to unlink it and make this value to minus so minus 43 and as you can see now it's facing the opposite direction so even for characters that are walking you can simply flip them like this and make them walk the opposite direction so now as you can see this guy is playing while the other one is moving to this side and of course since this is a render of a loop we can even duplicate this so 
Control D and place another animation right over here, right at the end, so that the animation continues. As you can see, very nice animation. And we can place this at the back. So that's it. For this, we will jump in the next video where we will show you the last thing, which is basically the transitions.